Yeah, hi. Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your late, out of date, AW Dynamite review. Around this time, this is Halloween weekend. This will be uploaded around the time SmackDown is on. I will be doing the SmackDown review instead on Saturday this week because um, I won't have the time. It is Halloween weekend, so I'm going to try to be like in the city. Um, but other than that, you know, uh, yeah, it is Halloween weekend, even though Halloween is like, like next week's supposed one. So Halloween, that's the weird thing about this year's Halloween. How, uh, Halloween weekend, all the people doing festivities is basically happening. Like, they want to do, some people want to celebrate the Halloween, like weekend on actual weekends when it's the last week of October. So what can you do? It is what it is. Um. I'm new to like the Halloween night nightlife for like two years now. I'm just kind of getting used to knowing what the, how it goes. It is what it is. But other than that, let's catch up with some videos about like for example AEW. I could have done the review at the night off, but I gotta tell you guys, when watching this show, I decided to stay home because I was very tired, and I decided to watch AEW. I gotta tell you, man, watching AEW was just terrible. Okay, this was. Listen, this is not me being some shill for any company or tribal. I think this whole I argument, and it's funny, it's also kind of stupid that people say, like, you know, tribalism is stupid and dumb, but yet, you guys clearly have some fucking favoritism for stupid shows, or if you say tribalism is bad, motherfucker, you, like, for some reason support both shows, like, I represent, if you want to talk about some tribal, what tribe do I represent? I represent no tribe, and I'm willing to say that it's just modern wrestling that sucks. WWE sucks, AEW sucks. Simple as that. But, I gotta tell you, AEW is just worthless. It's fucking worthless. Watching AEW, it's like, I'm not gonna lie, it's like, it's not just as bad as WWE, it's not, if not, if it's, it's even worse. Because it's fucking amateur hour at this point. I'm watching AEW, and I'm watching Dynamite. Like, forget Collision and Rampage. We know those shows are just not worth watching anymore. Not or not that it ever matters, unfortunately. It's a darn shame because Rampage was the return of CM Punk, and that show is bound to be like ending soon, supposedly. It's about to get canceled. Collision was solely created so that way CM Punk will be on that show. And they failed to make that show must-see for a Saturday night. Even though, again, Saturdays, it's like... The beauty of when WWE did shows like Saturday Night Main Event, it was not every Saturday, right? When you do a show that's every Saturday, especially in the modern state of wrestling, when people are less likely to watch wrestling on a Saturday night, what makes you think it's good to do a Saturday night actual show? And, my God, how the ratings have gone down. And the ratings have gone down for AEW for a reason, for Dynamite. Like, this show, I gotta tell you guys, this show was just terrible. It was probably, aside from maybe the ladder match, but even to me, I did not really care for the ladder match, because there's no proper story, and it's for a title that nobody gives a fuck about for a company that's fucking dead! Aside from even the ladder match, but like, the ladder match, who really cares at this point? This show was honestly one of the worst dynamites I have ever witnessed. It's boring, it's terrible, nonsensical booking, it sucks, it's garbage, it's every fucking word I can say that it's just bad, it's fucking terrible. And I don't understand why how this company even still gets support. And then I'm still surprised that Warner Warner's bro is still for some reason giving money to this shit. But you know why they're doing that? Because part of it is Tony Khan giving money because he wants to not show that his company failed or whatever. Because that will make him look bad if he loses the rights to be on TNT and TBS. Two, they're going to count their blessings. And suck whoever's dick is in Warner's bro. That AEW is going to be on TNT and TBS. Really because that the, the NBA has decided to not be on T uh, Warner's bro anymore. Which I don't know why. Count, they got to count your blessings. This show is terrible. It's absolutely awful. I am. It's a waste of fucking time. You know, even trying to put effort to this.
And it lost ratings for a reason. Oh, but why do you care about the ratings? Motherfuckers. Ratings matter because it indicates how good your show is doing. That's why the ratings mattered during the ratings war with, again, with, with freaking Monday Night Wars. If the ratings suck for either show, they're going to struggle. But it's sad that wrestling has gone back to the point that they can't even get half the viewers that during the Monday Night Wars had. Not even one show nowadays. And that, that includes WWE. And by that goes to show because modern wrestling is trash. But dude, currently what is trash about modern wrestling? That is AEW for you. AEW represents the worst out of modern wrestling. And this show is just terrible. It's, it's terrible. Like... I'm watching this fucking show, and it's such a waste of time. And it's not it, nothing else of intriguement and si exciting. I hate to say this, and I can't believe I'm saying this. How is it that you have gotten worse to like the AEW from the beginning? Cause at the at, at the start, I was critical by AEW when everybody, well, every smarky wrestling fan, every smart. Uh, from on the YouTubes or the IWC, YWC, they oh, all were excited for AEW because, again, it was that new fresh toy and whatever. It was a new hit thing. I do think that the reason why people pretended like AEW at the time because it was the new thing to do. It was, you know, anti-McMahon, right? It was anti-Vince McMahon thing to do. Well, I still think that is the case. I can't believe I'm saying this, but how bad is it that even the early days of AEW is honestly better than this shit? And I hated the early days of AEW, because the early days of AEW was equivalent to any shit. But at least, they they seem like they did have some care. I don't know, in, in a weird indie sense they did. But it's like they were catering obviously to the indie fans, the smarky fans. But again, th that's the only people we're watching. Even the fucking AEW fans have got tired of uh, AEW. Now look what the ratings now. You barely, you honestly have half the viewers that you guys started with. Like this show is, I think it got, it got down to like 600,000 viewers average now to people watch AEW. Isn't that fucking sad? Again, this company has a bunch of former WWE guys. It has Edge in AEW, but a Edge is no longer in AEW any, or, or for the time being. What does that fucking tell you? Like... This show is terrible. Like, damn, what they what happy with all with fucking CM Punk, um, their booking of wrestlers and just the the lack of even trying to their supposed idea long term booking is not even there. There's no even long term booking as people pretend it is. There's never even been long term booking with AEW, by the way. But I didn't even see anything close to what is supposedly long term booking with this shit. AEW's terrible. Okay, lack of stories, no fucking, the wrestlers, you don't know these fucking wrestlers, it's five fucking years, stop the excuses, oh, uh, why you, what do you mean, it? it's a new company, there's, well, guess what, this company's been around for five fucking years, and I still don't know who the fuck is Chuck Taylor, and all these stupid wrestlers, all these buffoons, and we're supposed to pretend these are upcoming stars, I still don't know who the fuck private party is and they're gonna get a tag title match and stuff like that and we're supposed to care if they're gonna have a big title match next week I don't care this is all jobber fest god this show is terrible absolutely dog dog shit you know <sighs> well, I'm glad you called goal is Drink my nipsy. Inspire miss bitches go, oh shit, oh shit. AEW won't do that for you. You won't be getting bitches on the big black couch to make them go, oh shit, oh shit. That's for damn sure. Oh shit, oh shit. Cheers. It's god awful. Like, it's not, it's not good. No hope. No reason to care about this. Uh, I'm just like, I'm just baffled, really. You know? The show started with the Blackpool Comic Club. They're in a van, right? They're in like a Dodge Ram or something like that. 
John Mark says, A little piece of someone will be destroyed forever. And sometimes promises it will be for the greater good. Like, that's his big promo. Like, something like, you know... Uh, again, this whole bullshit that, oh, you know... This is not your company anymore. They're taking over. But yet, what is being taken over? What are they doing that even the fucking young bucks couldn't even do? Like, isn't that funny what they literally did? They literally took a storyline and gave it to these people. They took what was should should have was was supposed to be Jack Perry and the Young Bucks and uh, whoever was it kind of they leaked right. They were supposed to be taking over AEW. They literally gave that storyline to now the Blackpool Comic Club for God knows what reason. You don't just give another person a storyline unless like organic sure. There are rehashing storylines that are similar, by the end of the day, it's not like, you know, you just take what was at the same, certain same time frame and just give it to somebody else. You know how stupid that is? Unless they're supposed to be working together, which it seemed like it should be the case, right? The Blackpool Comic Club, they joined the Elite, Com Combat Elite, I don't fucking know. It would make some sense. But no, nothing's happening. I don't know, nor do I care. John Moxley telling us everyone, someone else will pay tonight, and a little piece of someone will be destroyed for the greater good, for their own good. Okay, what is this greater good? They they're like hyping this storyline as there's like a higher power, right? There's a reason. This is all happened. They're doing something for somebody. I'm not again. I do think people maybe have failed expectations to probably think that Shane McMahon would be in AEW, which they again they they made it seem like it, it was the case again with people with them teasing that you know Shane McMahon joining AEW that was the idea, right? But again, it's probably people's like again expectations which they shouldn't have honestly, and again. If Shane McMahon was even to be in AEW, it would not even help this company at all. This It would not help this company. As much as I love Shane McMahon, he would not help this company because this company is coming to the point where it's a sinking ship without an effort being saved. But they're going to be still around, sadly, because they have money. It's as simple shit as that. That's why you're going to still see AEW on TV. Yes, TNT. Eventually, they're going to get the lower ratings, but at the end of the day, no one's going to fucking care. Because again, they're gonna, now, now people have decided to jump the ship to care about WWE because it's not McMahon anymore. McMahon is not there anymore. It's the cool thing now, even though it's not necessarily the cool thing. Because the reality is, WWE is basically just like what modern wrestling is. It's a lot of indie bullshit wrestling. But it is presented, like it or not, AW, uh, WWE has the history to back it up. They have their beautiful history. With a, uh, compared to AW's five year of garbage. And you do still have people that people will love and care about. They have that they have the rock who can come back whenever. They have again guys who are the part timers, the legends that still can show up and you know pop a rating and people will like that show. No one's gonna fucking like AEW because they have a shit history, okay? Simple shit like that. Back in the arena, we see Mark Briscoe, Daniel Garcia, the private party, top flight, and more are waiting for the Black Bull Comic Club in the parking lot. Because, get it, they're going to stand against the invading, whatever, the the floor of AEW, and uh, I don't fucking give a shit. Tony Khan, don't, not Tony Khan, Tony Schiavone welcomes Hangman Page to the ring. He says he's knocked out Austin Gunn so bad, he doubts that he remembers his own brother's name. On cue, here's Colton Gunn attacking Paige from behind, and the fight spills to outside where Paige gets the upper hand in the ring, and then Paige takes off his belt and starts choking Colton. And then Switchblade Jay White and Juice Robinson pulls Colton out there outside as Jay White and Paige they go at it with each other, but then Paige retreats while limping to the back, and I don't care. I really don't care. I don't know why this feud is happening. Pay Angman Page like again like this guy he ha like he ended his show at all out and then this guy's now losing to this dude like the guy should technically he should be one of the main eventers one of these 
big outlaw dudes to try to be going for the title or something. And then this guy, I don't know. Of course, you know, John Moxie has the title. I get it, but like, I don't know, something. Like, whatever. First match, Shelton Benjamin defeats Sammy Guevara. Remember Sammy Guevara so much for this guy's fucking bullshit? I don't even give a fuck about this crap. Like, so much for Sammy Guevara, right? This guy was all over, like, AEW with their rising star pillar bullshit. And yet, look at him. Like, he bounced so bad to, like, the bottom where, like, who, who cares? Like, because he pissed off somebody for some reason. Not that I give a fuck, but... Like, what a darn shame. Like, what a joke. So much for, like, their upcoming stars becoming stars, huh? <sighs> Renee's in the back of Mariah May. Mariah May has luggage and tosses, tosses in the hallway. It turned out to be Anna J's. Who the fuck? That's awkward. Uh, it turns out to be Anna J's. Anna is here, and then, and then all of a sudden... Uh, Chris, uh, Christopher Daniels breaks it up immediately. This is done terribly. Okay, this is just done terribly. Like, I'm fans of Mariah May and Anna J. I think they're two of the hottest. If anything, AEW should really just consider doing some broad panties matches or try to do at least, like, come on, you're TV 14 for crying out loud. Instead of making the woman bleed, how about you do hot shit with the woman and you can at least pop a low rating? You'll get a little increase. Sex sells after all, right? Do some hot shit with them. I don't know, them, oh yeah, I'm the hottest bitch in the world type of shit. And of course, Anna J talks about her big ass, right? Let them fucking do something. I don't know, hot, something hot related. Something relating to like what you used to do back in the attitude slash ruthless aggression era. But no, like they want to pretend that women wrestling matters and no one, you know, nobody fucking cares. I don't know. I mean, even... I, I don't know. I don't even know anymore. Uh, 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 the acting was terrible, though. And, like, they immediately got broken up from supposedly brawling with each other. Even though it, they didn't get to brawl, they just were separated and just nothing happened. I don't even know. No, do I care. Whatever. I don't know. This is just shit. Tony Schiavone welcomes Cal Fletcher and Ka Don Callis, and then Fletcher says, The fans are much to blame for the whole thing as Osprey has. Before Osprey got to AW, I was the next big thing. Now the fans just want to see me as the next little Osprey. But I'm better than Osprey, and, uh, uh, you know, I'm going to be out of his shadow, and I'm going to show him better, or whatever. And then he shaves his hair, and I don't care. He shaves his hair. He should have shaved his entire fucking... I don't know. You should have shaved yourself out of the fucking universe. I don't know. Cause you have, and you should have shaved your penis off. Because you fucking have no penis anyways. Or you're just fucking... Literally, you're just a fucking fag. I don't know. We then see a video package of Tick Take a Shit. Defeating Josh Alexander at Maple Leaf Pro Wrestling. Over the weekend. And Mick Chase shows up and... We then see Rick the Shit... This is a challenge for Rampage to anyone. And MVP shows up how they they were in the same company and had issues before. But how it's a new company. Here's your my card. Even though nobody cares. Again, who the fuck cares about Maple Leaf Pro, whatever. Apparently, this is now another new company that's starting. No, even though nobody fucking cares. Great, another company, which is basically like an indie promotion. But, I don't even know. I don't know. This is like some other company that's somewhat like TNA. I'm surprised. I don't know. Like TNA used to be obviously big, but now this is like another company that's basically a minor league TNA. And it was like great. Like who the fuck cares? Like more shitty wrestling, you know? More shitty wrestling companies. And I don't fucking care. Second match: Brian Cage and Lance Archer defeated a bunch of jobbers. And I don't care. Because this is supposed to establish their new partnership, even though nobody fucking cares. 
The welcoming committee is here for Moxie and company, but then they still see no Brian back to a comic club. Chuck, Chuck Taylor, who is now an agent, comes to get Briscoe as his match is up. We then see him and Orange Cassidy they talk to each other how they gotta be careful and like, I don't give a fuck. Again, who the fuck cares about Chuck Taylor? I don't even care about this guy. This guy was some like best friend guy and then the guy's career ended, ended career. I don't fucking care and it's just like... Who gives a shit? <laughs> like, who cares? You know what I mean? The third match. Chris Jericho defeats Mark Briscoe in a ladder war to become the new ROH champion. So rather than Chris Jericho winning a meaningful title in AEW, or at least becoming a world champion again in AEW, like, because apparently this is to help the, you know, instead of, like, I guess helping the new talent, or whatever, or like even be in world bigger title programs, he'll rather fight for a stupid title that no one really gives a fuck about, which is like the second time now in a row. He fought for the FTW shit title, and now he's fighting for the shitty ROH title, which again, doesn't fucking matter anymore, for God knows what! Why is it still a, a thing? The ladder war, which is just a ladder match, is fine. But, oh, it's a ladder war, but there's tables around. So it's basically just a TLC match. When I'm calling it a TLC match. That's, where, that's AEW for you. AEW, just, rather than calling it a TLC match, they'll just do ladder matches where there's tables involved. Not that I'm complaining. Like, of course. I can't, you can't hate a ladder match. And this match wasn't terrible. But who cares? You know what I mean? It's just a ladder match that's like, in the end of the day, who really cares? You know what I mean, folks? Like, who really cares? And God, in the end of the day, there was no real story besides, I'll get it, you know, for some reason, Jericho doing the, the cheapest use of mentioning some someone's dead brother and whatever, which, again, it's, it's poor taste at this point, you know? I have no problem involving real-life death shit in storylines. It just gotta make sense. Why does Jericho need to mention that? It just, at all at the, at the end of the day, it's like comes off as poor taste and a waste of time because they have no fucking ideas what else to do. That's what it is. That's simply what it is. It's just a poor waste of time excuse. It's garbage. <laughs> <coughs> I'm still recovering. But I'm okay now. I'm like 100%. It's just that leftover sickness, right? Even though I'm not sick anymore. Is that leftover, you know, when you're coughing up the mucus, whatever. But anyway, I, I'm okay now, thankfully, if I'm feeling better from, like, my sickness from last week. But, like, seriously. A waste of time, man. Um, we had some table spots. We had Mark Briscoe did, like, a, a, like a big splash from the top of the ladder. He almost botched it, but, you know, whatever. They all used the ladders. They broke the ladder. And then, man, I think some chairs got involved. And then... Towards the end of the match, we then see Mark Briscoe climbing the ladder, and then Big Bill, he takes him from the ladder and just basically like chokes him, or, or he puts him over the ring, do a pile of tables, and eventually he helps Jericho win the title. It was just really a plain ladder match. Not that it needed to be very big, but like, at the end of the day, it's whatever, but like, what was the point of this, and why is Jericho the ROH champion? Like, that's just my question. It's just a waste of time. It's a waste of a title. It's a waste of time. You know? Like, I don't get it. I really don't get this feud. And I don't get Jericho being an ROA champion. Again, a championship that has nothing to do with AEW. But for God knows what they're doing. I don't fucking know. Do I care? And then we see fucking some guy named Rocky Romero and tomorrow Ishii. I don't even remember the name Ishii because like he's that stupid Japanese name that people like to talk about. Ishii. Is she more like, it's shit, it's shit, tomorrow is shit, mister, it's shit, he's there, and it's like, who are you, and why are you in AEW, and it's like, really, we're gonna have a non-AEW title match with Jericho, who's AEW, versus a guy who's not in AEW, what are we doing, it's not even forbidden door, this is why I can't believe I'm, like, you are doing Forbidden Door, and yet it makes no sense to do Forbidden Door. <laughs> <coughs> I hate Forbidden Door. 
I hate the concept, and I hate the argument that people say, why are you complaining about Forbidden Doors only once a year? Yeah, clearly it's not once a year, because it's every time a fucking genre that nobody's involved in AW, they do this shit. It's not even Forbidden Door shit, and now, ugh, I don't even care, it's a waste of time. And Cole Gay Gay is here, and before we can get story time, whatever, we see the Undisputed Kingdom, uh, Rod, Rod, Roderick Strong says, Adam, you know, I know you got proud of you. I, I know you came back working your ass off from your injury, but I want MJ at first, you know? And uh, and then, like, they're all arguing, like, they're all arguing which one wants to get pe pegged first by MJF. Like, basically, that's what it is. Again, and let me say this. D this is all confusing. This is confusing. <clears throat> and they completely botched this fucking storyline. How does this storyline make any sense at all? For them to do Adam Cole versus MJF now. How does it make any sense now? It makes no sense anymore. Because, again... Why the fuck you're doing this storyline when now Ezra's a fucking heel and Adam Cole's a baby face and now Adam Cole is acting like a baby face and wants to beat up Ezra after all the stupid shit heels that he did? What are we doing? What are we fucking doing? How does this make any sense at all? This storyline is complete ass and botch. It's garbage. Everything about AEW is garbage. And the most fucking dumb shit is this storyline that's as well. You have the Blackpool Combat Club shit that is just dumb. You basically gave the storyline that was the elite to give it to them. And no one fucking understand what the fuck is going on. It's just them prolonging garbage. And this. Why is Adam Cole acting like a baby face? I mean, he's a baby face, but yeah, he's kind of sound like the heel. Like, what the stuff? They're all heels. He's friends with the heel. Yeah, he's acting like a heel with them, but he's supposed to be a baby face. And yet, it, it just makes no sense. It makes no fucking sense at all. This is why this storyline is a botch. We then see MGF. MJF shows up at the Tron. He's getting massaged by this hot chick. She's invited to the big black couch. He says that he can make them jump through hoops, but the first guy who gets three wins in a row can get me at full gear, and he won't be showing. And I won't be showing up till then. He says. So, who really cares? Like, I'm sorry. Who really cares? So basically, he's not going to be there to build up this botch of a feud. When now it makes officially no sense. It's just them want to have. It's just the only idea of this feud is that who, which one, which one, who's gonna have the best match now? Like that's basically what it is. It's about good matches now, right? And again, who fucking cares about Adam Cole versus MJF when literally, after what they've done, they totally botched that storyline. Whatever. Because it makes no sense to care about. Adam Cole, when he did what he did as a heel, and yet we're supposed to care about him now as a babyface. Like, if you want to do a heel, babyface, whatever, if you wanted to switch them, then you should have done literally, MJ should have never turned heel in the first place, or you should have done something where MGF maybe turned back to a babyface and then feuded with a heel, Adam Cole returning, uh, and then, I don't know, cost him something, whatever, or. Again, you want to turn Adam Cole to the baby face. You could have easily done MJF and Adam Cole. I don't know. Maybe you could have done Adam, uh, MJF heel, Adam Cole heel. I don't know. Whatever. Some double turn. Sh something. If you really want to do something. Because it's not like they did like a double turn. That makes sense to maybe care for Adam Cole right now. Not that I ever would care about Adam Cole. Because Adam Cole is literally just a fucking scrawny fucking vanilla midget. Like, seriously. And I will never care for Adam Cole. He's just literally an example of an indie wrestler who people pretend to is hot shit when in reality, he's just fucking a midget. 
Literally, look at his entrance. He's not even cool at all. Fourth path, the House of Black defeats some jobbers, and then B B Bunny Matthews says, I want Adam Cole. And now that he's cleared, let's have a match. And then Cole meets up with him and says, like, why do you want a few match with me? And then, because I want to see if you're fragile. Like, that's some gay, kinky shit if I ever hear something, you know? Like, I want to see if you're fragile. Let's see if you're fragile. And that, that sounds like some gay shit right there. Like, they're going to fucking fight. Or they're going to... It's like they're going to have a session, an oral session with each other. And like, are you fragile to take this shit up the ass? Like, what are we doing here? I don't care. Fifth match. Camille defeats Queen Almada. Whatever the fuck this bitch is. Name like some fucking black bitch that, that no one fucking knows. Then Camille gets, uh, gets an altercation with Chris Stanlander. Who again... She was a heel, but now she's a baby face? Like, what are we doing here? And, like, Camille, I don't know, she gets attacked by Sasha Banks, but she could, doesn't resist, she resists, and, I don't know, with Sasha and Camille retreat, I don't give a fuck. <sighs> Team AEW still waiting for Moxie and, and the company, then we see the patriarchy show up instead. Patriarchy hit the ring, and here's Hook. Kip Sabian's here, he blasts his Hook. As the patriarchy jumps on him and Jericho hits the kill switch. Jericho hits Or Christian hits the kill switch. I guess this person made a typo. And uh, and then the patriarchy says they were the ones that attacked Taz in the parking lot. But Christian is here for a hook. So that's why I guess hook is a pack of feuding. I don't know. So that's their cheapest use to sleep to a feud with Christian. But again, why is Kip Sabian with fucking Christian? I thought Kip Sabian was feuding with... I, I'm confused, nor do I care. The main event, the Elite defeated... Not Elite. The Private Party and Daniel Garcia they defeated the gay Elite. Nobody fucking cares. It's Jack Perry and the Young Bucks. And then we see some shit where, like, Private Party... Hey, we gotta want, win tonight. But uh, we want a rematch for the tag titles. And I know you're, you're not denied, but if you give us a shot... And if we lose, we'll break up. And like, oh, wow... We have to pretend to care about this match now, even though nobody will care. And this kind of guarantee that this stupid tag team that no one fucking cares are gonna win now. Wow. Whatever. And then after that, we then see, oh wow, Moxley and his group appear, but like, oh, it's only Marina Shafir. She's the one that's in the car only. And then out out of nowhere, we see Claudio and Wheel Yuta. They attack the jobbers. In the arena, and the elite does, does nothing. Is the elite does something? We don't know. No, do I care? And then Moxley, he's shown like in, in black attire, and he tosses what's his stupid name, Chuck Taylor, into the fucking ring, and then they all they they destroy him, and they gave a big stupid chair move with the break. They break him, and I don't fucking care. And Orange Cassidy's very emotional. What, are they really building up to, like, Orange Cassidy versus John Moxley? Are you, are, you, are you kidding me? Who the fuck cares? <laughs> I don't care. I just think it's all bullshit. It's all shit. This show is terrible. So that was the end of the show. And I'm just like... What kind of show is this, you know? What kind of... This fucking storyline just makes no sense. Another story that makes no sense. I, I, you, you, nothing makes sense in AEW. That's the, not, uh, when you look at all the storylines, they all make no sense. And you don't really care because, like, who the fuck are these people and why should you care? That's what's another thing. Adam Cole and MGF is a botch of a feud. And it's just dumb. The Blackpool combat sh shit just makes no sense. It's, like, it's just slow bullshit. It's, we don't know what the fuck is the point of the fucking storyline. The patriarchy, like, they're just doing nonsensical shit. Like, it's slow bullshit and, like, why is Tip Sabian involved? Everything else is dumb. Jericho being a, a champion of a promotion that is dead is, like, dumb. Everything is dumb. You know? Uh, Chris Landlander is, like, a he baby fan. I don't know. Everybody's, like, uh, uh, weird roles and it's, like, I, who cares? Oh, but you gotta watch Collision and Rampage. Who the fuck cares? First of all... Uh, 
what I've seen, nothing even happens on those shows. So, it's a joke of a, of a reason. So, who cares? What's the point anyways? Overall, AEW is dumb. It's a joke. Dynamite is garbage. It's freaking garbage. And it's funny how even AEW fans are admitting this. And it just sucks that it took five years for people to realize that. When guys like me has been saying that AEW is going to be garbage because, again, they're just a like glorified indie promotion that doesn't even cater to casuals and is not willing to meet a cool wrestling show that anybody can wear. That's why they never will grow. And it's good for them. They're never going to fucking grow because they fucking suck and are pathetic. Till next time. Peace. Yeah, bye. Fuck AEW. Garbage.